Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be starting this challenge. It's called Tiny Town and it was created by Deli or Delicacy here on YouTube. She said that this challenge was inspired by three different games and those games are Disney, Dreamlight Valley, Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. And I personally love all those three games so I feel like I'm really going to like this challenge. I am on her website right now, but I will not be going through all the rules just because I feel like you guys have already either seen her videos or you know about the challenge. But again, if you don't, you can just pause this video and kind of read how to play and the rundown and the rules. Or you can even go to her website, which I will link down below in my description box. I will just read this little bit over here and it says the aim of this challenge is to build seven tiny homes on one lot. For seven sims that match their desires and skills. So these are the sims that Deli made. So you can either create your own or use hers from the gallery. I personally will be using hers just because I find them so unique and I love them already. Also the lot that she created you can download here or again you can make your own. I really like the lot that she did so I will definitely be using hers. And then over here we have the rundown, how to play and extra rules and ideas. And then at the bottom is where the pictures are of all the sims and that's what I want to go over with you guys. So this is the little poster or a pamphlet that she created for this challenge. And we have all the pictures of all the sims. There are seven sims and this is I guess the logo of this challenge. And now if we go on to the individual pictures, it tells us the name of the sim, their picture, their skill, style and color. So this is Azure, I'm probably butchering that, but this is Azure Hue and her skill is painting, her style is contemporary boho, and her color is blue. And then when we go on to the next one, this is Cypress Handyman, his skill is woodworking and candle making, his style is rustic and farmhouse, and his color is orange. This is Frank Stem, his skill is flower arranging, his style is farmhouse, vintage, and garden, and his color is green. Then this is Beatrice Jam, and Beatrice is my favorite. <laughs> and I'm really hoping that I get her when I spin the wheel, because her skill is cooking and baking, and I love that in real life and in The Sims. Then her style is cottage, and her color is pink, and I also love pink. So she is definitely my favorite, and I'm really, really hoping that I get her first. And then next is Opal Gem and her skill is Jewelry and her style is Victorian and Storybook and her color is Purple. And then we go on to Annie, again this last name. This, this somehow feels to me like Amateur but is Aperture? I don't even know. But anyway, her skill is Photography, her style is Industrial and Minimal and her color is Red. This is Ziggy Yarn, his skill is Knitting and Crocheting. And his style is mid-century and his color is yellow. Okay guys, here is the wheel and I'm so nervous. I really, really want Beatrice so bad. She's definitely my favorite and I really want to start with her. So let's just spin it and see who I get. Oh, this is not bad. Frank? Oh, yay! Actually, that's great. Honestly, I'm happy. I'm just gonna close it. But yeah, I'm really happy with Frank. I kind of did not want to start with Cypress just because he's a handyman and woodworking. Oh, it's not my favorite, but um, I'm actually happy with Frank. He's doing flower arranging and gardening. Actually, this is really good. Honestly, I'm not mad at it at all. This is good. I'm, I'm actually happy. Yay. Okay, let's get into the game. Okay, everyone, we are here. And first, I just want to mention that I did not put the lot in Henford on Bagley just because I didn't feel like a tiny town would fit on a farm or close to a farm. And so I did put it over here. And this is Windenburg. It is spring right now. And so the trees don't look that great, but... I did put it on here and I really like it. I like this street over here, the road, and then and then the houses on the side. And then this is Frank. It is kind of weird that I'm starting with an elder. So this is Frank. He looks like he hates life. <laughs> but actually, honestly, I'm not mad at it that I'm starting with Frank. I actually kind of wanted him if I did not get Beatrice. 
I was like, I would not mind Frank. And so I'm happy. But I do have to do one thing, and that is, let me just find the settings. Yes. I do not want Frank dying on me in the middle of the challenge. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn off aging for both, you know, him and any other sims in the world. So that's that. Now we can start playing. I also wanted to mention that I'm not using a save file. If you have been watching my Barbie Legacy Challenge videos, you know that I'm using a save file. But not for this challenge. I just kind of, I don't know, I didn't want to. But let me actually just first show you the lot. So I think this is for... Is that it? Nope, that's not him. That's Cypress. This is Opal. Where is Frank's box? No, this is this is Azure. Azure? Oh gosh, I'm butchering that name. But as you can see, they all have their little boxes. Is this it? Nope, that's Annie with the camera. I guess it has to be here. Is this him? Yes, this is Frank on this side. Okay, so this is Frank's area. As you can see, they're all fenced around and separated. So like I said, this is Frank's. So that is Ziggy. And then this is Annie. This over here is Opal. This is Cypress. This is Azure. And this over here is Beatrice. And Beatrice has, as you can see, a fridge and a stove. And this is a waffle maker. So I really wanted Beatrice, but that's okay. We are starting with Frank, and that is okay. So I just wanted to show you everything is fenced in. And all of these boxes have their names on them. And if you're wondering why these items are out, what had happened to people is Delhi kept all of these items in the box. But when people would download this lot from the gallery, all of these items would be missing. And so she just kind of placed them outside. And then if you want to kind of place them back in the box, you can do that. So this is what he's starting with. He's starting with some seed starter flowers. I guess these are all flowers, which is perfect. So I'm just going to put that in his inventory also i'm gonna get these out just so that i can sell them and we can make some money so that's 19 simoleons and then this is 16 okay so we get a little bit but you know what i'm so silly i did not deduct i did not deduct the money oops my fault we gotta go down to zero i don't know what i was thinking sorry guys but now he's down to zero and we have 16 so now I have to include 19, so I'm going to do that. But um, but before I do that, I just want to close off all these areas so that he cannot use any of their stuff. So I'm just going to lock it. And I'm just going to put lock for everyone for right now. Nope, not that one. Lock for everyone. So I'm just going to do that to all of their little fenced-in areas. That way... He cannot, you know, use all of these things that are available to him. So we're just going to lock. And this one too. There we go. I put in the right amount. So we have 35 simoleons and that is it. We're going to open these seed packets and start gardening. But first what I want to do is actually flatten this land. There we go. And that actually gave us 36 simoleons for flattening that. So I guess that's also extra money. And then I will change this vacancy visual. So it appears that it is sold. And I'm just going to open these seed packets. I'm going to have Frank come out here. And look around. Where Where is he going? He's going to a tent. I do need to go over his stuff with you guys. So he is cheerful. He's a perfectionist. He loves the outdoors, and he's a collector, artist, and jester. So that is Frank Stem, and this is his aspiration. So he's doing the freelance botanist aspiration, and I don't know what he's about to do. He's about to go and relax. Is it raining? Oh, it is. Oh, no. What's the weather going to be like this week? Oh, it's a lot of raining. Oh, no. Let's open our seed packets and see what we get what is this bluebell and then this is daisy and we get one more oh we get just extra of bluebell okay so i'm just gonna move things around and start a little gardening area maybe here in the back and 
he can start gardening it's raining it's perfect he doesn't have to water it i'm just going to shift these on the side i don't feel like removing them yet if i remove all of these things then this space is going to be so empty and i don't want to do that let me maybe start with eight maybe i shouldn't use all of them because i can already start um flower arranging let me see yeah i can already start yeah so i should definitely leave some at least three at least three of each so maybe i should start with six plant six i mean and see if that's enough and then the bluebells will also do six and you can come frank and start planting there we go i think that's what i want to start with and that leaves us with five bluebell and three daisies so we can make something on this little table and it's perfect it's raining so he doesn't even have to water he looks exhausted already <laughs> and we just started but i'm so excited also another thing that i wanted to mention to you guys if you've seen Deli's videos she did a little house over here she did a little community house where she added different things for the next sims that will come she had her first sim azure over here she donated a toilet and a shower that way when the next sim came oh the welcome wagon is here but when the next sim oh that's so loud when the next sim comes that sim you know had a toilet and a shower that way they didn't have to use this bush over here and so I really like that. I will definitely do that myself. Make a little house here and decorate it nicely. And I'm just so excited. But the welcome wagon is here. Let's go meet our neighbors. I guess this is the bunch family or munch, not bunch. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so embarrassing. But it's the munch family. Here comes the fruitcake. We're just gonna. How much do you have left to plant? Just three more. Okay. You can plant those and come and say hi. Hopefully we get this fruit cake so we have something to eat. Otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. Dad. They don't look excited. <laughs> At least Mila's like, hello. What is he asking him? Okay, let's see. What does he think of them? He only met two of them? Okay, let's see. Mila, admirable. Okay. Interesting. And Mila thinks that Frank is pretentious. I am really hoping that they leave that fruitcake on the ground so we have something to eat. This girl over here is a jokester or a prankster or whatever. Ooh, they don't like each other. She thinks Frank is annoying. Oh, gosh. Okay, well. At least we like two out of four. Uh, where is he going? I guess he's going to go in the tent. Oh, there's a blue one. No, what? What are you doing? How did I put that there? Maybe I did. Maybe I did by accident. I kind of dragged it around. Oh no, he's upset. Uncaring. What does it say? First impressions are strong. Too full of yourself. Yeah, he's not liking his new neighbors. Look at him pretending. There we go. It's gone. <laughs> But I'm actually going to have Frank go and make something. Let's see, what should we make? I mean, we only have two choices, I think. Make an arrangement. Let's just do daisies and bluebells. We really don't have enough money. I was going to buy that tending table or sale table where you put stuff on and you, you, know, you start a sale and sims gather and buy stuff. But we don't even have money for that. I think the one that I want is like 500 simoleons. There he goes. I'm actually happy I got him, honestly. This is fun. Gardening and cooking in Sims 4 is fun for me, so I'm happy. I feel so bad for him. He's like standing here in the rain. I love these little boxes. I'm going to keep them. They're so cute. Welcome wagon is still here, and I do not see fruitcake on the ground. Oh, there we go. No! What are you doing? Oh, no. 
I thought she was gonna leave it there. I was gonna snatch it. I was gonna drag it into his inventory, but I don't think I could. I think he has to come over and actually pick it up. Let me see if she'll do it again. Look at these boots. He acquired the flower arranging skill. There we go. Oh no, I can't drag it. It's right there, but look, I can't even click on it. Oh, that's a shame. He's going to water the flowers, even though it's raining. Let me see. He made one. Oh, it looks great, even though it's his first one. Let's see if we were to sell it. Twelve? Can he do something to it? Like to... How about if we list it on Plopsy? Would that sell it for more? What if we add something to it? A vase? Does that increase the price at all? Milestone complete. Let's do a spring vase, since it is spring right now. That looks okay. We're gonna go with it. And it is still 12. Yep, it's still 12. Honestly, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna list it on Plopsy. And see if I can sell it for more. I completely forgot that he's got this little cooler so he can eat, you know, quick meals. And do we have a garbage? I do not think we do. Let's make another flower arrangement. Why is, why does he keep, he keeps watering, but like they're already watered. I don't know. Maybe it's a glitch. I see that Deli has a lot of glitches in her game, so... I wouldn't be surprised if I do too. Let's try. Well, let's try and make another flower arrangement. Also, I want to go and look around and see if we have any flowers to harvest. I should definitely take him to other places and see what we can harvest. Any flowers. He needs to pee. Well, you're going to have to use the bush. I'm so sorry, Frank, to do this to you. An elder man has to pee in a bush. <laughs> And there we go. He is level 2. That's awesome. And there we go. He's done. You gotta go pee, okay? If you pee yourself, then you're gonna need a shower. And I do not have that for you. What is this quality? This quality is normal. Okay. We're gonna put that inside and also list it on Plopsy. Okay, how about I go and take a look around and see... If there's anything to harvest. And he could just go and, I don't know, rest in his tent. There's something to dig, but I won't do that because it's not a flower. This also, I'm very tempted, but I won't do it. <laughs> I think this is also Bluebell. Yep, it's not ready yet. So we definitely need to give it a few days, I think, for all of these to blossom. These are, what are these? Mushrooms. I guess I could collect mushrooms or veggies if I see any around. I don't think that would be against the rules. Still nothing on Plopsy, which I think maybe in the morning. I let him sleep and look, it's 11 o'clock at night and he's fully rested. So, so he's just staying inside because there's nothing else to do. We don't have any more flowers. I could have saved a bit more and just made flower arrangements, but honestly, I just wanted to plant a lot so we have, you know, more to harvest when it's time. He's playing in the rain. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I feel so sorry for him. He's like here by himself, nobody to talk to. Oh, that's sad. And especially because he's an elder, you know? If I had somebody younger, I really wouldn't, you know, care. But the fact that he's an elder, I don't know, it's just so sad. Regardless, I'm happy I got him. No, you're not gonna go grill, no. You're gonna spend all your money, no. Maybe I should put this in our household inventory because I definitely don't want him grilling. We need that money, so we're just gonna leave that here for now. Because as of right now, he can, you know, still survive on this this little cooler and all the little snacks inside. I cannot afford any of these outdoor trash cans or garbage cans. How about indoor? But then I don't like these because then they overflow and they start being smelly. And yeah, I'm not going to go with these. I'm just going to wait so I can 
get some of these. I really want maybe this one or this one. I was going to say, why don't you come and fertilize this bush? But I don't want to do that. You have your own bush that is already smelly. <laughs> these are still on Flopsy and no buyers yet. Can he shower in the rain? Yeah, let's just shower in the rain. Honestly, there's nobody here. I thought this was going to be okay, but it's a little weird. And he's facing the road, so all the people that are passing by and the cars can see him. So I'm just going to give him some space. <laughs> but hey, that's working. His hygiene is going up, so that's great. Poor Frank. There you go. You feel better? Yes, he is happy. Okay. I have sent Frank to this area in Windenburg to look for some flowers. But honestly, oh, look, he's throwing that out. Oh, perfect. But honestly, I don't think these flowers are ready yet to harvest. So I'm just going to take a look. He can, you know, wander around. And I'll go and take a look if there's anything to grab which I doubt it. I definitely need a few days. There's nothing on the beach. Obviously, no flowers are on the beach. What is this? Strawberry bush. So yeah, nothing here either. Mila's calling us. I think you should go for it. Yes, try it out and see. And then if it doesn't work out, don't blame me. <laughs> and Gunther is calling us now. Hey, listen. We need a place to stay for a little while. You can accommodate us, right? It'll be like we're not even here. I promise. You know what? You can do it because there's extra tents right now. So go ahead. Maybe we should go back home and meet them. But let me just first save. Well, they are all here. Four of them? The whole family? You, ju you guys have a huge house. Don't they have a huge house? But that's fine. You guys can come. What are you guys going to do here in the rain with a little kid? <laughs> There's nothing to do here. It's a good thing we have enough tents for them to sleep in, so at least there's that. These stayover guests, are they being serious right now? Right here? Right now? The awkward tension is weighing heavy. Oh no. Well, you can come to your area, Frank. I hear there's someone famous over at the lounge. Want to go check it out? Do I? We are here, and honestly, I'm only here for flowers, but this is Del Sol Valley. So there's no flowers over here, so I don't know what we're doing here. Don't even think about ordering a drink. <laughs> he so doesn't fit in, like, <laughs> it's like, what is Frank doing here? You know what we can do? Would this be against the challenge? Could we ask for an autograph? And then sell it. I am kind of desperate for money, honestly. <laughs> Let's see. Will it work? <gasps> Is he getting it? Oh, awesome. Yay, Frank. Oh, look at him. He's so excited. 50 simoleons. Hey, that's better than nothing. Okay, Frank, let's go back home. Okay, let's see. Our plants or our flowers are not ready yet. Honestly, they're not going to be ready today, I don't think. It's already noon. I just cannot wait to get that little house here, uh, like a community house for everyone. And you know that what that reminds me of? In the Animal Crossing, that little... That little box or whatever it is in the resident services where you go in and sometimes you can find clothes. You can find that sloppy sink and the sloppy couch and all of that stuff. Sometimes wallpaper. I really like that. And that little house that Deli did in the middle over here, that kind of reminds me of Animal Crossing. So I don't know, this just feels so cozy. Dislikes idealist sims? Honestly, sure. I don't, I don't mind that for you, Frank. Everybody's so angry. And you guys are... Where did you get that? What is that? Chicken nuggets? Where did you get that from? And look at this guy. He just left his garbage over here. I welcome you guys on this lot to use these tents. And you guys leave garbage behind. That's not cool. 
He has a bad relationship with Gunther? Oh, I didn't know he was that bad. Disliked. Yeah, he does not like Gunther. How about Wolfgang? Yeah, they don't like each other. Look at this. Frank thinks that Wolfgang is rude. And then Wolfgang thinks that Frank is annoying. So they don't like each other. And these are our next door neighbors. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Oh no, now he's angry. The Smunch Bunch family made him upset. <laughs> Nothing on Flopsy yet. How long does this take? A few days? Did I do something wrong, guys? Should I have just sold them instead of putting them on Flopsy? But even if I was to sell these two, I still wouldn't make enough money to buy that table. And I still need more flowers. So I'm kind of stuck right now. And I just need to, I guess, wait it out. So that we can get these flowers and make more arrangements. So I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Wait it out a little bit and see what happens. He wants to woohoo in a bush? Frank. That is hilarious. Who are you going to woohoo? You don't even have a love interest. Unless he likes Mila. And Mila is where? I don't know. She's sleeping somewhere. Oh, she's right here. Oh, she's fixing the stuff. Mila, you're fixing it in the rain. You can't even fix it. Why do you keep going back to them? Like, you obviously don't like them. Just ignore them. Look at this place. It's so big. You guys don't even have to see each other for the next few days. Oh no! Wolfgang too? They're so rude. Honestly, I want to kick them out. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's playing in the rain. I was like, sir, where are you going? Our flower bushes have grown a little bit, so that's a good sign. We might even have stuff to harvest. Maybe tonight. I'm not sure. We'll see. If not tonight, tomorrow morning for sure. Let's list that on Plopsy again. But then again, we're losing like five simoleons every time we do this. I'll just do it for now and then later on I won't do that. Let's list it again. And now we're down to 101. What does this say? Hey, neighbor. Do I hear the sizzle of something broken in there? Oh, dear. Would you like help with that? I'm a bit of a handy sim. Well, you know what? I would like your help, but it's still raining, so there's nothing you can do about it. And there's nothing I can do about it either. And, here, <laughs> and she's here already. She's like, let me fix it. Well, you know, Mila tried. You can try, but it's not going to work. I just want to say that when I play games, I really like the storyline too. And I know with this challenge, it's a lot about grinding and making money. And so I will definitely, like, skip a lot of this stuff that's, you know, boring to me. And I know it's probably going to be boring to you. But I do want to include these other little things that make the storyline, especially when we have more sims on this lot. I just want them all to become friends and have this nice community here. So what I'm trying to say I also want to, you know, show you the grind, but at the same time, I also want to show you, I also want to show you a storyline here. I want to add little elements to the challenge, and so I hope that's okay with you. So I definitely don't see myself completing this challenge in like seven parts or ten parts. I definitely see this being like an ongoing challenge for a while, and I honestly like it that way. It can't be, you know, like playing with Frank for one episode and then moving to somebody else on the second episode. In the second episode, that just, I don't know, I just don't like that. And so hopefully you guys don't mind that. But who is this? No, we're not going to go. Goodbye. Frank comes out. And then he goes back in. He's like, nope, still raining. Got to go back inside. <laughs> Well, finally, it has stopped raining. And let's see our flowers. Still nothing, but I think soon. I think today. I mean, it has to. It has to be ready today. Please don't get dirty. Still nothing on Plopsy, which is insane. It's been, 
it's been like two days and nothing has sold. He's like, I don't have toilet paper. <laughs> well, Frank, that hasn't stopped you before. Okay, go in there and do your thing. <laughs> I really like his little station over here. It's just so cute. And it's right by the road. I don't know, I like it. Just don't mind these smelly, dirty dishes in the back. Oh, this is so nice. Look at the clouds. Oh, that is so nice. I love this lot. Honestly, I'm so happy that I went with Windenburg. I love it. Yay, our flowers are ready to harvest. Oh, this is so amazing. Look at them. They look great. I'm just going to have him finish that, and then he can come over and grab everything. So I bought it for 6 and it sells for 12 so we only made six simoleons, so that's that's not awesome, but at least it's something. We already have buds? How? We just planted these. He has reached level two gardening le skill, so that's great. Honestly, I'm gonna have him make a bunch of flower arrangements and then and then we will sell them and buy that table, I guess. That is all I can do as of right now. So I'm just going to go with these. Like a mix of Bluebell and Daisy. Because I feel like that sells for a little bit more. So we're just going to do that. So he has reached level 3 of the flower arranging skill. Which is awesome. I did have him take this off of Flopsy. So I can sell it. So that is great. He's already level 3. That's awesome. Why don't you grab something to eat? And I'm just going to sell these, honestly. This is 3. So 3 for $36. Oh no, he's being himself. Haha, <laughs> I don't feel bad for you. And right beside the bush. Like, you were right there. Okay, so let's make more arrangements oh this one's done so i can sell that why don't you come and make more what is he doing he's researching okay why don't you make more of these we have a lot of flowers left over so that's good we can make a bunch and i guess that's how i'm gonna make my money until i can buy that table and then once we do get that table i'll start selling to sims around town on that sales table. So let me sell this one. Oh, this one's 24. While he's doing that, I'm just gonna go around and see if those flowers that I saw here are ready to be harvested. Ooh, lemons. You know what? We can harvest lemons. Okay, after he's done that, I'm gonna bring him over here to harvest the lemons. I'm so blind. Honestly, I am so blind. I was like, ooh, this is Snapdragon ready to be harvested but nope it's just a dry i don't know bush something that's hilarious <laughs> what is this bluebells heck yes we're gonna get that more bluebells is there any food over here do they have food over here they don't but i can get these mushrooms and sell them so I'm just gonna wait for him to finish oh they are right over here so I'm just gonna have him he's an old man so I'm just gonna have him teleport <laughs> and so he can get these and then I'm gonna save some of these lemons and like mushrooms for that little community house that way when we have other sims moving in you know, they can help themselves to some lemons and mushrooms. Especially like Beatrice, that's going to be so helpful for her. Because she needs to cook and bake. And when she has stuff like that in the little community house, it's going to be perfect. Oh, he's stinky. Oh, I'm sorry, Frank. Is it going to rain? No, it's going to rain Thursday and he really needs a shower. Honestly, I'm having so much fun with this challenge. This is so different. I don't know. I just, I love it. I love grinding in any game, especially The Sims 4. So this is really up my alley. To be honest, I thought this was going to be a bit faster 
than I had expected. I don't know. I just thought we would have, you know, four walls in the first episode. But honestly, it doesn't look like it. So I don't know. We'll see. I do, I think, need to get him a shower. I can't even... I want to get this one for 335 So we definitely need to make more of these flower arrangements. But honestly, if we get up to 335 we might as well buy that table. Because then that table's going to bring us more money quicker. There goes Wolfgang. Look at the way he's holding the bowl. Look at that. That's weird. It's snowing now. Wow, this weather. It was raining for like two days. And look, now it's snowing. So now he can finally shower. Hey, Frank. Go shower. Shave back hair. Frank, I did not ask you to shave your back hair. I asked you to go shower. What's wrong with him? Take a thoughtful shower. And now the kid's going in the shower. Great. Rude. Gunther. Reset. Let's try again. Now he's shaving chest hair. What? Is my game broken? Okay, how about I reset both? I reset Frank and I reset the shower and let's try now. No, still the same. Poor Frank, he's over here stinky. Oh, look at the snow. Hey, at least he's smelling the flowers. <laughs> Hopefully the flowers are overpowering his stench. <laughs> oh, look at him. He has a hearing aid in his ear. I did not even notice that. Now Mila's going in the shower and... Oh, she's out too. Maybe because people are around? Is that what it is? Let me see if that's going to help. Nobody is around him right now. So I'm hoping that that helps. Oh, it's working. Okay, great. So it was because other people were around. Okay, I'm so glad that my game is not broken. <laughs> I can't wait for other sims to join him so that he's not all alone here. And look at Wolfgang. He's like coming right here. Like, what are you? What are you? What? What? Oh my goodness. What's wrong with you? I was going to say, now she's dirty, but you just, well, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> I want this family gone, okay? I'm even thinking about picking up this lot and moving it to Hanford on Bagley, okay? That's how much I'm disliking this family right now. It is 2 a.m. and Frank is still awake. No, Vlad. No, 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 no. Is Vlad coming? <gasps> He's here. No. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go inside. But he can still get him, though. He can still get him. Go inside, Frank. His mother is coming over, and he is butt naked. Look at her. Can I reset him? There we go. Okay, much better. <laughs> Look at Frank. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> Look at him. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Frank. You still have that creative fog? Yep, you do. Well, only one's ready for now, but honestly, we're going to get the daisies. And while he's doing that, I'm going to sell these so we can make more money. And I'm going to sell these too. So there we go. At least we are up to, I don't know, 167. At least that's something. I'm hoping that he would make some money so that I can stop this episode at a good point. But honestly, it doesn't look like it because he's still down to 167. I was not able to buy that table. And so I think soon I'm just going to wrap up this episode. This episode is anyways like an introduction to Frank and to the challenge. And so... I just wanted to get to know him and 
see what he's like and honestly I'm, I'm loving him so far even though he's an elder I'm really really liking him oh look at the sunshine oh that's so pretty embrace the change creative yes definitely I definitely think that that's a perfect trait for Frank he's done yet another one that we're gonna sell there we go for 24 okay guys so I'm going to end this episode here I'm actually hoping that Frank would have at least a few walls up um, we do have a shower so at least uh, there is that but I think next episode things will finally start happening we're gonna get that table we're gonna sell our arrangements for a lot more so this is the table that I'm talking about there's actually a few right here this one and then also this one and then one came with this set so we have that one and they're all so expensive and then this one I really want this one but it's really expensive it's 585 but I'll probably save up for this one and then we'll get that so I'm gonna leave Frank here taking pictures of his flowers and Frank and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Bye!